great fans here tonight to the first class of organization and to an all-star group of teammates. You are the NBA most valuable player. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, I just thank you. I mean, thank you so much. I don't even you guys are amazing, man. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. It's like a, a loss. I'm, I'm lost the words right now. Uh, nah, man, I just want to say real quick, I got to thank my teammates, my coaches, and everyone in the organization. Top to bottom, without you guys, I'm not standing here today. And for real, I, I really mean that. I just want to say thank you to the commissioner and the league in general, man. This, this will put me on a great show for the fans. Because <laughs> this right here, this is what it's all about. I mean, being in this building, this energy you guys are giving us, that's why we play the game. And I hope you guys keep it up, because we're going to put a show out there tonight for you guys, all right? I promise you that. Thanks again. And Let's get it! And now the opening lineup for Detroit. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Then there's Dumboya, and it's Kennard in at the two-guard spot. And for Chicago, Porter and Markinen, the duo at forward. Levine is out there with B, and it's Davis in at the center, locking down the middle. So Detroit will get the first possession. Stolen away. Here's B. Oh, oh what a play! What a play. <laughs> and guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skill to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, that's for sure. Here's Kanon. Plenty of space. And Davis pulls it down. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Pass to Griffin. To the middle. Here's Drummond. And Davis sends it back. Good job by AD. Not giving up on the play. Tracking the ball. Blocking the shot. Appreciate the hustle. Yeah, the defender all over him. The goals shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line, and the first one drops. Both free throws good from B. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Inside, Dumboya good. And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here's B. And again, Chicago. No good. Got a piece of it. He can't get that one. Nice D from Griffin. Here's Peterson. Passes it to Griffin. to Peterson. Lock it four. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. That shot by Griffin. No good. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. A shot. That shot, no good. And it's Chicago the other way. Here's B. Detroit with the rebound. Griffin's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Dwayne Casey and I got a chance to talk for just a bit. He said a lot of people are doubting us, and that's a good thing. That's motivation for our guys to come out and try to prove people wrong. But it's going to take a big effort. It's going to take execution. It's going to take hitting critical shots, which, as we know, is especially difficult on the road. Guys? Thanks, David. Chicago making a switch here. Carter's checked in. Chicago leading. Kicks it to Davis. Uncovered, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. With that great limp, quick off the floor, AD rising above to knock it in from mid range. Now, about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Coming in the post. Davis is up. Griffin. Rebound by the Bulls. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Good work defensively by Carter. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Bulls. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. That shot misses. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. And Chicago has possession, following the three by Detroit. From deep, and down it goes. Three-pointer falls in from B. B's got nine. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. Young's check in for Chicago. Osman comes in for Porter. And a different look here for the Pistons. Ryan needs checked in for Andre Drummond. Markeith Morris comes in for Blake Griffin. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Dumboy. And Justin Holliday subbed in for Kennard. For three, the shot missing. Pistons trail by four. The three, Hollis Jefferson, good. All about the team. Justin Holiday looking for the open man and finding him. Chicago's gone just one of four from three point range here in the first. Here's B. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Chicago making a switch here. Archie Diakonos checked in. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's Peterson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the left wing. There's Hollis Jefferson. Carter pulls it in. Here's B. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. And that's 15 points for B. Beautiful find by Carter. Sees the floor really well for a young B. And so it's the Chicago Bulls heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? You can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. Young and Carter are the big men inside. Then there's B, and it's Osman in at the small four. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, B in that last game against the Knicks made a big difference. He had 35 points, and he continued to connect from the foul line and the three-point line throughout the game. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it, and he took advantage of it. 
Kevin, back to you. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. And that's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. And it's the Bulls with the ball after the basket by Detroit. Here's Young, and Young slams it home. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. To the left side wing. Here's Osman. But he gets it back. Here's B, and it's sent back by Bryant. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. Count that bucket. Holiday's got four this quarter. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. Markinen comes in for Young. Chandler Hutchison, he's checked in for Jetty Austin. And it's Denzel Valentine in for Ryan Archidiacono. B the pass to Markinen. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Drummond over Davis. And Drummond kicks to Holland. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Here's Kennard. Shot from free throw range. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And that one's good by Davis. See, in the past, the contact might have discouraged Davis, but now he plays right through it. We've got 155 left to play in the first half. Kennard, the pass to Dumboya. Back to Kennard. Teardrop shot. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Davis. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Holiday surveying the floor. The pass to Kennard. From deep three-point range, Chicago grabs the miss. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. Now Holiday, after the miss, three from B. Got a hand on it, and the whistle blew, so that'll be a shooting foul. Great defensive effort there with the blocked shot. But he got more than just the ball that time. Free throws coming up right now. Detroit shooting their first free throws of the game right now. So for the Bulls. Porter comes in for Chandler Hutchison. And Zach Levine subbed in for Denzel Valentine. Here's B. Sinks the three-pointer. B's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Now here is Holiday. Pass to Drummond. Here's Kennard. He's guarded by Davis. Unloads from 13. And it will go. And the Bulls lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Kennard. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And the Bulls, another three. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Holiday with it. Pass to Griffin. Shot. 
Shades over Markinen, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Chicago. Their lead at 15 going into the break. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Dwayne. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. You know, B has been exceptional here, guys. Oof. That first half looked like a dunk contest. Mixtape was just destroying the rim. And these weren't just putbacks and alley oops. He was roaring to the rim and finishing. On the floor for Detroit. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Then there's Dumboya. And it's Kennard in at the two guard. He doesn't let you off the hook, Blake Griffin. He likes to draw contact, and usually he gets to the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Free throw drops for Griffin. Griffin hits them both. The Bulls leading by 13. Here's B. Knocks down the three ball. B's got 32 points. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. To the paint, here's Davis, and the layup is good. Davis has got six points. What a polished move by one of the best bigs in the game. Anthony Davis is just showing off. Pass to Dumboya. The pass to Peterson. And he gets it to go from the high post. Peterson's got his first points of the game. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And, and Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Carter, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Detroit also making some changes. Ryan, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Markeith Morris comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson in for Doom Boy. Pistons trail by 16. A floater. And it's sent back by Carter. That time, Carter's length and vertical paying dividends. He has tremendous potential as a rim protector. And he's able to get it back. Fires the three. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of it. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. And the Pistons with possession here. They trail by 18. Here's Kennard. Nine points in the game so far. Pass to Morris. Six to shoot. Basket good. Morris has got his second basket. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. No good from B. Pistons trail by 16. Passes it to Hollis Jefferson. A putback. It's good on the putback. Yeah, just a terrific job of just staying with it. Nice. Here's B. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And he has been ice cold from beyond the arc here since halftime, and he continues yet to fire away. He has got to tone it down if he wants to help his team. Here's Kennard. A 
another steal. And here we go. Carter heading to the hoop. And the shot goes in. Good handle for a big man. Carter able to get to his spot, and then he powers through contact. Now a timeout called by Detroit. You have to like what we're seeing from B. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. So for the Bulls, Thaddeus Young. He's checked it. Pistons trail by 21. We've got Davis. Be out there with Levine. And it's Young. And it's Osman in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Now here's Doomboy. Morris outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Griffin. And Davis sends it back. One on one here. That was absolutely filthy. Oh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Now here's Griffin. Nice ball movement by Detroit. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That'll be his second foul of the game. Chandler Hutchison. He's checked in for Chicago. And Detroit with a change here, too. Peterson's checked in. Here's Drummond. Pass to Dumboya. Here's Peterson. Five on the clock. Here's Drummond. The feed now to Griffin. Bobbed up there for Drummond. What well, makes Drummond a great rebounder, not just the size and athleticism, it's his tremendous anticipation. Here's B. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The first one at the line is good. Chicago making a switch here. Arkanen's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Pistons have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on B. That's his third foul of the game. Porter's checked in for Chandler Hutchison. Luke Kennard, he's checked in for the Pistons. Here's Peterson. Now the pass to Griffin. And he finishes nicely on the layup. I love the play call and Blake with the strength, but also the touch to dominate inside. Here's B. Off target with his three. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Here's Peterson. Pass to Drummond. He kicks it to Griffin. He gets it in there. And he's showing signs now of life after going scoreless through the half. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Another shot, and it's sent back by Drummond. I feel like Drummond saw that one coming all the way. Great anticipation. Knocked loose, but they get it back. Here's Peterson, down low, and Drummond throws it down. <laughs> he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. To the inside. They push it up for on three. Here's Umboya. And the layup's good off the glass. The Bulls leading by 15. 153 left in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Levine. No one near him. And the shot is good from B. B's got 40 points.
Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Now, here's Doom Boyer. Just five to shoot. Passes it to Peterson. It's up a three. A shot that time, not on target. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down in what will be a win here in game one of the series for Chicago. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket, didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for B. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Peterson the pass to Drummond. Drummond is double. Here's Peterson. Outside for Griffin. To halt the run. Porter pulls it in. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. B defended by Drummond. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's good from B. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. The first free throw is good. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals.